like you do when you get to a certain age. Um, I was quite shocked to discover that uh, the family story of my great grandmother marrying and being widowed within three months appears to have been quite true um, as she does marry twice in a year and the second time she is a widow. So, East Coast, people going to sea, I'm afraid it probably happened a lot. I thought, I always thought I'd learned this from Norma Waterson. But listening to some stuff recently, I think I must have learned it from Lau. So it's Stelbrow, which is a headland up near Robin Hood's Bay. On Stelbrow, on Stelbrow, a family did dwell. She loved a handsome sailor lad. And he loved her as well. He promised he would marry her when back he did return. But bad luck and cruel hardship upon this couple fell as they were sailing. A storm did arise, the sun was overshaded, and dismal were the skies. The wind it blew a hurricane, which made the billows roar, and it tossed these poor sailor lads all on the rocky shore. Now some of them were single men, and some of them had wives. But all of these poor sailor lads were struggling for their lives. And our unfortunate young man, who happened to be there, well, instead of getting married, he got a watery grave from Stowbrow to Robin Hood's Bay. She spied this drowned sailor lad as on the sand he lay. She boldly stepped up to him, and amazed she did stand, for she saw it was her own true love by the mark on his left hand. She's kissed him, caressed him, ten thousand times o'er, crying all oh, these cruel billows have tossed my love on shore. Then happy and contented, she lay down by his side. And a few more minutes afterwards, that poor young maid had 